Hi Saj, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's quickly dive into your reading and see what messages show up for you. I'm still working with the setup, so pardon me for this frequent change, right? So let's dive into your reading and see what messages show up for you. Sag, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, Saj, let's see what is coming up for you. First to 15th. For number authority. I started a reading for you before this. Somehow I had to shut it in between and wow, we have the sacral chakra here. I'll tell you. It was also full of number four, right? Four, four, four. I had the heart chakra card, I had um firm foundation card, and they all talk about number four. Again, the card is showing up number four. This is the card of authority. This is emperor energy, right? Fours are usually stability, right? There are different ways with, uh, by which you can get into that stability. I see that this is some sort of authority that you need to exert or you're exerting right now, right? Taking the charge, coming in power, telling what you truly want or what you truly need in this situation, right? We're going to clarify, of course, but for some reason I'm picking up that you're trying to come in the authority or you are getting the authority in a situation. You're taking the charge in a situation. And there is Sacral Chakra. Sa sacral Chakra card, this is the second most, um, you know, lower chakra, the second chakra from the bottom, I should say. And it talks about our private relationships. Relationships very close to us, our intimate relationships. Relationships, um, you know, which come inside our um, circle uh, of intimacy right circle of intimacy so i feel that when it comes to your private relationships there is a force that's telling you to come over take over and make decisions you're going to see what is this about first through 15th let's see what messages show up for you Saj. very interesting energy all right ace of wands i see you coming from a place oh my god ace of pentacles and the fool Look at the new start. Ace of Swords. My God. Oh my God. Four cards on the table and they're all talking about new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles and Fool. Right? So this is the first card of Major Arcana. First card of Pentacles. First card of Wands and first card of Swords. Not a coincidence. For a lot of you, I see uh, you're coming from a place. Right now you are... At a place, you're coming from a place where there's some sort of new beginning promised to you or it is actually happening in your life. Something that is calling for your attention, this situation, this person. Specifically, if we are talking about love life, I see there is a new attraction here, right? Something is grabbing your attention. In your work life also, I'm picking up, um, you're passionate about something new and there is an offer coming towards you from that direction. If you're getting attracted, that I want to, uh, you know, go after this particular field, this particular career opportunity, this particular field of uh, career, I don't know, a lot of uh, new things showing up and I see you on the verge of taking the leap of faith. For few of you, I see you guys have already decided in what direction you have to go or jump, right? Now, Ace of Swords, the Emperor is here again. For a lot of you, you might be dealing with an Aries individual or somebody who is authoritative, definitely authoritative, who has some say in this matter. I don't know, boss, manager, father, spouse, somebody who has a say in this matter. This person is getting the truth, they're getting the clarity that you're on the verge of diving into a new thing right this person is a little confused fucked up they're waiting for a conversation from you or they they might be trying to connect to you in this week also they can try and for some of you i see this person has already tried connecting with you emperor but this person is very firm very firm in their outlook very firm in their decision right and i see this person is very close to you sacral chakra uh, talks about very close and intimate relationships we have right and uh, whenever this chakra gets blocked always keep carnelian around you if you are facing some issue in your sacral chakra uh, meditate keeping a carne carnelian around you right or 
focus orange light in that area right while you meditate so what happens is when this chakra gets a lot of energy or gets blocked both ways if it's over energized or if it is under energized you face problems in your int intimate relationships um when the chakra is balanced you feel secure in your relationships you can trust your loved ones you can feel safe with your um, close and intimate circle of people and when it is not like that you feel insecure and underconfident am amongst and around around those people right let's see more wow i see a beautiful new opportunity here for someone very specific i'm picking up the the challenge that is showing up the reason because of which you're not able to grab this opportunity or you're feeling um, dicey whether to jump or not is your close and intimate relationship or the people who are in that circle for some reason for someone specific i felt father i felt father right a okay page of cups moon and the judgment now for a lot of you i'm picking up uh, that Sag, there's going to be a judgment call. There's somebody trying to connect with you. There's going to be a judgment call in this time period. The situation is coming back. For some reason, if you were not able to explore something previously, I see a second chance is going to be granted, right? And the moon card is showing me that you're a little disappointed. You felt that, okay, it's not going to work out. And I, I just missed a chance here. There was disappointment. But somebody is here to apologize and tell you that if you missed something because of me, this person wants to make amendments and offer you another chance. I'm going to clarify what is this? Why is this person showing up? But then the interesting thing is that you are on the verge of something new. You know, there's a new sunshine here. And when this person shows up, I see you're going to be a little disappointed because now things are changing. I'm strongly picking up Cancerian energy around you, Sag. Strong Cancerian. Um, I'm picking up Aries. I'm picking up Sag. I'm picking up um, Scorpio energy also here. Three of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck. For a lot of you, uh, I see that whosoever this person is, this person regrets missing a chance, right? And for some reason, I just feel that somebody is coming in to ask for another chance, to work things out with you. But you're on the verge of a big shift here. For almost all the signs I've done, this is like a theme. I don't know, it's a big shift happening in the sky or some sort of transition is happening in the stars. For a lot of signs, I feel that a big shift is coming. For a few, it's about leaving the past and starting over new. And for rest, it is about looking the past in a new, new you know, in a new way and learning new things, learn, having new experiences from the past and applying it differently in your future experience. So, let's, cl let's clear more cards. I see seven of wands here, the high priestess, and the three of pentacles. I see somebody is, you know, I see somebody is going to act a little pushy, but I'm going to clarify a few cards here. I do feel in the near future, you're looking up to new things, but you might be turning away from this thing a little bit. Five of cups to the six of cups. Wow. Let's get more cards. Saj. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. All right, Sagittarius, reverse the rules of deeded, switch the cases. Let's see, what is this new beginning? I see, for some of you, I'm picking up that there was a new passion that you thought of following. And very quickly, you realize that it's not just passion. It's not just momentary thing. It's something that can assure you, something that can guarantee you something very positive and long term. So what is it? Let's see. The moon in the reverse position. Wow, some secrets came out about the situation. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. For some of you, I'm picking up that somebody revealed a secret that they're in love with you. If this is a love situation, 
or somebody is interested in doing this partnership with you for a lot of you it's a new love offer and i do see you very attractive you very attracted to that situation but hanged man is showing me that for some reason you're struggling to make this decision for some of you i see perspective change happening and you're on the verge of taking the new leap of faith but as this happens i see an apology shows up what is this apology from where is this apology coming in oh my god somebody is freaked out somebody is losing sleep over you sag there is an apology coming in wow son can be leo you're dealing with or somebody who wants you to know that somebody wants to shine light on some truth here son somebody wants to three of wands for a lot of you i'm picking up that somebody was waiting for the right time to express how they feel and they were losing sleep that you might end up moving on from them and page of cups i see this person this in this week this person is showing up moon justice i see that you feel this person has been really unfair with you in past they were unfair with you in past in justice uh, i would say yes karma justice served i see the apology coming in somebody's having that realization ten of pentacles they want to work on this partnership again they want the stability again ten of pentacles asking for another chance for some of you i'm picking up that you're making a very strong decision for number authority you're making a strong decision that this is this is what i want i'm not compromising over it right let's see more wow for someone very specific i'm feeling sad that in the near future there will be a moment when you'll be waiting for some conversation some communication or a news but for some reason it's not showing up it's getting delayed it's not showing up it's getting delayed three of wands and i see you turning away because you're not hearing you're not getting the news you're not getting the information that you were expecting here and meanwhile meanwhile i see there's a new passion so it's very clear for a lot of you i'm getting this is very clear that uh there is a new opportunity for you you can dive into this new opportunity and you're on the on the verge of deciding taking the leap of faith but then there is another person so definitely there are two people here for 80% of you i'm picking up there are two people one is regretting wanting to have another chance and another is just like a new passion for you king of wands wow six of swords and four of wands you might end up exploring the new opportunity right six of cups in the reverse position for some of you i just felt that you're done waiting you're done regretting or thinking i do see that you're almost about to take the leap of faith and for a lot of you for a moment you're going to feel that okay did i miss the opportunity with the past person was it still possible and i did it too fast i jumped into something new too fast no actually not because i see that eventually you are deciding to turn away from the past right and the new opportunity is bringing in some sort of stability possible new connection or a, a new dating scenario for you right so you might end up um, moving on and moving forward in a new direction let's have a let's have a card of advice for i'm sorry sagittarius eight of swords sag taking off the blindfold the illusion of entrapment a lack of self confidence that makes you feel helpless and remember we have the sacral chakra sacral chakra talks about the same thing something here gets blocked and because of that you feel underconfident in your personal relationships you feel illusion you feel trapped being afraid to take action take responsibility of your life now so that for lot of you i see it was very hard for you to make this decision and you were just you were just not in that mode to make the decision about this person but i see life is moving forward there are new doors new chapters starting for you right this person is going to come back and apologize karma just as served but honestly um, i do see that something very lucrative is showing up and you might make a very strong decisive decision in the near future and nine of cups wish come true look at that wishes come true your dream becomes reality a magical life a magical time of life good fortune 
faith in the universe that all will be well. I'm getting this very positive energy that once you take off the blindfold, once you get rid of that overthinking and I do see the moment this person comes back and apologizes or you might hear from the people around you that somebody is willing to apologize somebody wants to apologize for what they have done and they've got the karma whatever happens here i see um you need to take off the blindfold and you need to look at the new things new opportunities being offered to you right yes there's somebody who wants to apologize but uh, you might have to make a balanced decision for this person right which might appear a little authoritative to the other person wow but it's, it's something that you need at this moment right so i'm gonna leave you here guys thank you so much for watching bye